Hello, my beautiful Capricorn friends. Welcome to your 2022 predictions reading. This is all areas of life. It is a tarot scope. We will cover every area that you have on the astrology wheel. We look at your overall energy, Capricorn, and we have meditate and contemplate with Neptune and Pisces sextiling your sun or your ascendant. We see that a lot of change is coming in this year. You'll have a lot to be grateful for. And when I do the overview of this reading, the changes will be changes that you've wanted for a long time and they're coming to fruition. It's a, a year of very interesting scorpionic energy. We have transformation. As you can see, she has a big red butterfly on her chest. So in your heart space, you want only Capricorn, that which is real. You want to transform your life in every way, but especially your romantic life. We're seeing here the queen of the golden bow. And this is a card of deep healing. This is a card of healing at every level, spiritually, mentally. It's a time of rest. It's a time of meditation. It's a time when you should let the queen of the golden bow take care of you, take care of your day-to-day -day needs. This queen of the golden bow has a power to heal any and every aspect of your life if you simply let her do so. So look at your dreams, look at your feminine energy, you know, look at the intuition that you have when you meditate because it's a powerful, healing, lovely time in which you can enjoy the year so much. We see the time of collaboration Aunt Spirit is a message in your work life. It's about collaborating with others. You're always going to be part of a team, Capricorn. And it really helps this year to work in allegiance with others. We see that you have passion and pleasure. Savoring your life is going to be key. Taking the time to have a gratitude ritual and being thankful for all of the positive energies in your life. When we look at your first house of how you present yourself in the world and in regard to partnership, these two cards really go together. Eight of Swords is the energy of Gemini. You have an angel guarding you. You have a cage that is popping free. You have, some of you, have been in some sort of relationship, whether it be a friend, whether it be a colleague, whether it be a business arrangement, but we see an ending coming here that you're really calling uh, on spirit to close a chapter of your life. Now, when we look at the seventh house, this is marriage. It's all relationships and partnerships that have a legal overtone, the justice card. So it includes anybody who has a strong responsibility legally to you that you partner with. It's marital partners. It's also business partners. It is doctors, lawyers, fiduciary, financial experts. And what we see is that you are simply pulling the plug on one of those relationships. You do not feel as though it's something that you can advance in at this time. You've thought about things carefully. You're making a very, very sound decision. Because when we get the Ten of Swords, we get a betrayal in some sort of way or a disappointment or simply you saying, I'm finished. As we move forward into your financial house, you are looking great. Knight of Cups speaks to the Pisces energy that you want to do something that you've want. It's sort of a dream sort of way to earn money. There's been a fantasy of a way to earn money that's very romantic to you. 
what we see here with the Knight of Cups is that you are making an offer financially and possibly to a love interest. You are willing to share everything that you have in life, everything that you've built. You're making a significant offer. Seal the deal with red roses, a beautiful bottle of wine, a beautiful love note sealed with red wax. But what you value most this year is relationship. You want to savor your life. You want to savor the pleasure in your life. And you are moving forward with a very strong and clear understanding with the King of Swords energy of what you want. You want, you know exactly what you want from a partner. You are very clear about it. Aquarius energy. A dear friend of yours might move into a romantic opportunity for you especially if you decide to leave another relationship. So for those for whom it resonates, it will be a choice that you make with great happiness. You will do it on a very significant, in a significant way, a very conscious way. This isn't something that happens to you. It's something that you make the decision to do. So you are very proactive this year in finding your pleasure and being true to yourself, healing old wounds, healing, healing old situations, even with family and friends, especially family. The Ten of Pentacles in your third house of neighborhood contracts, uh, siblings if you have any, says that you have a legacy history. You have left many people in your life in a very positive situation. For many of you, you may be in the energy of being a teacher. You may have taught many people in the corporate world, in the world of finances, how to actually go out and be successful. This is college level, university level. It's also embracing other cultures, ethnicities, uh, worldwide travel. It looks as though that is a source of richness and pleasure in your life. The Ten of Coins says that you have many, many younger people that you may have helped. Again, you are seen in the community as someone who builds legacy, who has great wisdom, and his, who has really lent a helping hand to others. And it has paid you very handsomely in a very spiritual, social, and financial way. We see in the energy of your history, your home life, your heritage, mother, madre, the energy that you may have be reflecting at this time on an inner life or a legacy of unhappiness, of sadness. As we grow older, we often view our parents, especially the mother, in a different way. It looks as though you have some sadness and regret. You feel as though you didn't really get that great relationship that you wish you had had. But the two of wands coming in, in your career, you have created the family that you actually want. Even though you may have come from very humble beginnings, um, a time in your life when, um, you know, in your formative years, you didn't get that kind of support. You really forgive somebody from the past. You look at what it helped you create in your life. And the Two of Wands says that in your career, you may be actively seeking a new opportunity, a new challenge, a new direction in which to go. You have a whole world here, but you're gazing at the moon with a certain longing for emotional fulfillment. And what I'm seeing here is that you, your communication, the way you've operated in life in terms of what you've given others, that you are enjoying a bounty romantically in your life, having fun, the chariot card, you move very, you move forward very quickly with this Cancerian energy. Of course, this is a snail. So what this tells me is you have a lifetime of making very good choices about the people that you've cared about, that you've loved. Uh, you've been willing to embrace change, Capricorn. 
And what we see is you coming in romantically to, I think, a relationship that you've had for a long time uh, with somebody who you've deemed very successful, a dear friend, someone that you've been close to for a very long time, but I feel as though you're trading the old for something brand new that actually has been in your life for a very long time. You are really enjoying day-to-day -day life. You're juggling a lot, the two of coins. You may be juggling two incomes. You may be juggling money. You may be juggling investments, but we see the two of coins, and I feel as though you've had a long-term committed relationship that is giving way to one with a friend that you've had for a long time. So the two of coins means that you enter the year still in this energy of not being quite finished, but you finish things up very quickly. The Ace of Wands says that you take action behind the scenes. You're feeling, you're throwing caution to the winds and you're truly embracing the idea of passion and pleasure and savoring every moment of your life with this incredibly attractive friend who's been in your life. This is a very slow moving motion, but now it speeds up. Now you actively make this romantic choice, Capricorn. When we look at the El Goliath deck and we look at your challenges for the year, we are seeing the Six of Wands, whatever challenges you meet with great victory, great, great stamina, Leo energy. You know, you marry or you are connected with somebody who's very different from yourself with a very different family history, and you have a wonderful victory. The King of Pentacles energy, that's daddy energy. It's the energy that you want to nurture a person in your life, and I'm seeing it again very much in your fifth house of romance and in your 11th house of friendship. You step into the role, Hierophant energy, you may divorce and remarry in this year very quickly is what I'm seeing. For those for whom it resonates, these are all choices you will be making. If it's not yours, it's okay. You can choose not to do it. But you are feeling so much more emotional this year. Capricorn, you're in this heart-centered space. You are using your third eye, the King of Cups energy, with absolute clarity and vision. You embrace your emotions. Capricorn, we don't typically think of you as emotional, but you're very sentimental this year. And you take that leap of faith, the Fool card, El Capitan, you take the leap of faith. There's a little bit of fear here. You're walking away from something that felt secure but binding, but you are in a wonderful energy of exploration this year, of being innocent, of being sweet. You do feel as though there is someone in your life who could cause some real trouble. At the end of the day, you don't care. Life is sweet. You're healing. You're very grateful for everything that you have. In terms of this relationship, I have the answer here. The Eight of Coins, a relationship that's been in your life for a significant amount of time, has never really come into the Nine of Coins energy or the Ten of Coins. This person has always sort of remained aloof for you, always made you feel as though you had to get to know them better. The Five of Swords speaks to the fact that you haven't always been treated fairly. The Hermit card says that after a long period of deliberation, a search for answers in true Virgo energy, which is seeking permanent solutions, the Five of Wands, you allow yourself to let other people compete for your attention. And look at this, your reading begins with the Eight of Swords and ends with the Eight of Swords self-imposed restriction you are simply going to limit someone who you feel has really not been there for you again i think that many of you will absolutely be leaving a physical home for those with whom it resonates and going somewhere where you're treated the best it's a beautiful energy capricorn it is a healing energy it's transformative 
and it's you being very conscious of your emotions and your inner life and honoring what you really want in life and being able to savor the richness of it all. I see a beautiful year ahead. 2022 is going to be, I believe, the year in which you've had the most authenticity, the most joy, and the most peace in your heart, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Um, let me know in the comments how the year unfolds for you or how you hope it will unfold. So thanks so much for your time. Sending you love. Bye-bye.